Today we're going to be working on a 2006 Jetta. We got to replace a driver's side rear caliper. This guy right here, um, something broke on it. I'm not sure. It's an AutoZone lifetime warranty piece of crap. I got stuck in a pinch and now I have this one on. I usually do an OEM or a local BC authorized caliper. Uh, we're going to start by working with two M14s. We got to crack those loose on the back. Um, we gotta pull, we gotta pull this clip, we gotta undo this e-brake cable, and this stuff over here, if you can see it, uh, the brake line. But uh, other than that, that's what we're doing, and let's get started. Alrighty, so, these two bolts right here, uh, this guy and that guy down there, I just cracked them loose, if I can get them, just like to get them going. Then um, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna pull this clip first, undo this cable, and obviously have something underneath it so you can catch the oil. And uh, you basically wanna do this as fast as possible. And do not take off your master caliper cap because you don't want the air, basically you just don't want the line to bleed as fast as it can. Uh, and that's pretty much it. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna push on this back and then drop the cable down. Let's see if you can push right here. You go on this side, you push these tabs in. You can get them on both sides. There's probably gonna be a T30 under here. You gotta pull that off. Alrighty, you pulled that T30 off. So now this cable come out of there. Nice and easy. Set that to the side. Don't lose your bolts. Put your bolts in a tray. And next we're going to pull the caliper off. Uh, we have to do both fittings here. This, um, what size is this? This is gonna be a 11 mil on both of these. Pull both of these off. And you wanna do it quick and uh, don't let the air pretty much get in the line. And you wanna have the other caliper ready so you can put it back together pretty quickly. So when you bleed it by yourself, there's less air and uh, yeah, let's do it. Already got these bolts out. Uh, I'm just gonna hit, hit them up on the wire wheel, clean them up a little bit before we put them back in. We haven't removed the caliper just yet. I just wanna get everything ready. So when it's uh, time to go back in, it's pretty quick. Alrighty guys, so that's a little before and after. Just wanna clean them up just a pinch. Obviously I would replace these if I had new ones, but I don't. Alrighty guys, so they are cleaned back up and uh, looking halfway decent. And let's put them back. Alrighty, so unfortunately I had to do, I have to pull off these uh, caliper slider bolts on this caliper, not the new one. And this is a, what size? 13. I just used a pair of channel locks, pair of vice grips. I think they're vice grips, channel locks, whatever. Uh, you hold this bolt right here, and then you put the 13 on the back of here, crack that loose, and then this will just pop off. Usually you don't have to. Um, I don't know if it's because my, what do you call it? My rotors have a little, uh, they're old, and there's like a ridge, but I can't slide it off right now. Plus this caliper is like kind of seized up, so it's giving me a hard time. Alrighty, since we pulled these uh, 13s off, now you can see, I'm just prying this off. It's coming off nice and easy. We're gonna save the pads, the pads are still good. We'll put new sliders on, not sliders, but these little plates. And um, yeah, other than that, we're doing pretty good. Alrighty guys, so now we're gonna grab our, I believe it's an 11. Yes. We're gonna grab an 11, we're gonna pull these off and remember, oh, you wanna do this relatively quick because you don't wanna lose that much brake fluid because it's gonna be a pain in the butt to, um, what do you call it? Uh, bleed your brakes yourself. So just remember, you want to do this relatively quick. After you pull that brake line off, I just like to tuck it up nice and high to keep uh, the least amount of um, air getting in the line and losing fluid wise. Um, now I'm over here and you take that little 90 that you took off this, um, this line right here. And you're gonna put this on the new caliper and you're gonna get this semi snug, not too tight. So you can put this on. Alrighty, so we got the brake line back on. Uh, don't forget, when you're all said and done, you want to uh, spray everything down with some brake cleaner um, and just keep all the brake fluid off the brake line. You wanna just pretty much spray your brake lines 
wipe them off with a rag. You don't want them to get too nasty. But uh, other than that, we just gotta put the two, what the hell size are these? Two M14, triple square 14s back in. Uh, I, I feel like if you're gonna do a lot of your own maintenance, just pick up a set of these. I have a, a set, which is nice. But uh, I'm gonna install these two triple square 14s back in for the caliper. And um, pretty much we're almost done. We just gotta put this brake cable back on and bleed the brakes and that's it. The two triple square 14s, pads are back on, brake lines are tight. I will double check them. Actually right now, why not? Have to find my wrench. I believe. And then I will say you should probably crack those loose and then tighten them back up before you take this off the caliper because I try, I had to do it uh, after I already pulled it off and it was a pain. I was smashed my knuckles and then you don't have the leverage. When it's in place and intact, that's the best leverage. So crack these loose, retighten them so you're uh, ahead of the game when you go to take the line off. But we just gotta bleed the brake. I'm gonna pump my brakes real quick, get them set, uh, bleed them, and then top off the reservoir, and that is it. So just pumping the brake a few times, get everything feeling good. We'll check for leaks. Hey guys, sorry I didn't get to uh, film the brake bleeding part of it. Uh, it's relatively simple. This is the kit I used. It's relatively easy. If you got to check out another video, um, do so. But I'm pretty sure if you're this far, you already know how to do it. Alrighty guys, so like I said, when you're doing this job from the beginning, make sure you crack these brake lines loose. And then crack them, uh, crack them loose and then tighten them back up just so you have the leverage while it's in place. And then... Um, and that's how you do a driver's side rear caliper. Um, unfortunately, I might have to replace this one more time because I'm stuck with this one. I don't feel like paying for 150 bucks for a new one when this is under warranty. I just got into a pinch when I was on the road and I changed it randomly, I think at a friend's house in the middle of Florida. But other than that, that's how you do it. So you have two 14s, uh, you have an 11 and a 13 for the sliders. 11 mil for uh, the brake lines and a pair of vice grips for here and to pull this clip. And that's how you do a driver's side rear caliper. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next.